recently, Louisiana, I think maybe Tennessee, but definitely Louisiana has talked about mandating Ten Commandments mm -hmm. in classrooms, things like that. And there's a whole, you know, chunk of America that feels like, yes, that is an important return yeah, to yeah. definitive values. Yeah. Right, versus yeah. this choose your own adventure and mishmash of whatever feels yeah, good yeah. for me. And that tends to be an evangelical proclivity, that yeah. that, that requirement. Right. It's kind of interesting because they're Protestants, you know, it's interesting to see that particular branch of Christianity develop this insistence on a return to those fundamental stated values, let's say. Yeah, but it is super interesting. Do you know um what's his what's his name? Uh he wrote Fantasyland. Um Fantasyland, 500 Years of How America Went Haywire. Um, Kurt Anderson, he, uh, he was at Harvard uh, and then, and then uh, has written, he did Studio 360, but he's a, he's a sort of popular intellectual historian. And he, he talks about how, in some respects, the Southern Baptist Evangelical Pentecostal movement, right? He uses the Scopes monkey trial as kind of a pivot point. Mm -hmm. Almost became um, a pre-Reformation Right, uh, retrenchment of Christian Christian faith yeah. because the mainline Protestant faiths, the Anglican, Episcopalian, you know, Lutheran, etc., were oriented with the North, and those faiths from the Scots Irish, you know, Appalachian migrations and all the sort of history that had led to it became a, there was a sort of schism, and and the and the and the Scopes Monkey Trial was kind of that you know evolution versus creationism. So that was partly intellectual and partly geographical. Yes, and, and basically the sort of aftershocks of the Civil War, mm -hmm. and that was when we got this break, and that is how you have you know what was the YouGov survey? It was something like fifty six percent of Americans believe in demonic possession, like like America it's is because they watch their politicians. <laughs> Right. America is a uniquely, uh, profoundly faith-based mm -hmm. place yeah, compared yeah. to Western Europe, compared to all yeah, these other places. Yeah. And, and characterized by continual revivals of that spirit, right? Yeah. Like, but, so, but we go back to Louisiana and the Ten Commandments in the classroom. Why are we, why are we posting a deeply ancient, quite anachronistic, almost Hammurabi's code level, Abrahamic thing? Not the Sermon on the Mount. Not the turn the other cheek and love thy neighbor. Not the blessed of the meek and humble, for they shall inherit the earth, right? There is a New Testament, right? Gospel, good news, that is being eclipsed. So it almost feels like the posting of the Old Testament, of the, of the Ten Commandments these days is almost a shibboleth, right? It's almost a, a sorting mechanism, which is if you are pre-Reformation, and Sam Harris talks about this with Islam, right? That's his main critique of Islam is they never went through a Reformation, right? So you've got medieval sentiments that haven't been updated. Mm -hmm.